Hello kids, this is Louisiana Beer Reviews, your host Jay and me, Dave. Um, we're looking at Spotting Optimator and uh, for the caloric and the diet herbs out there that chase down the low carb beer, you don't want this one. No. This one's rocking in at 50 carbs per bottle. <laughs> okay, 285 calories and the APV, I think it's 7.2 or 1 7.5. 7.5. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and check this one out. Anything else you want to say about the beer before we get going? I went to Volksfest at Deutsch's house about three years ago, and the lady was having trouble with her tap, so she filled a glass all the way up with Optimator, you know, the big Imperial pints. Yeah. She's like, "Oh man, it's overflowing." Well, here, just take these two. So we drank them, and I was really scared after drinking. All right. All right. So. It's been a good while since I've tried this. I don't even remember what it tastes like. It's like liquid bread. Yeah. 50 carbs. It's going to be like three slices of bread. 25 for you and 25 for me. And this is a very old company from Germany, Spaten. They, uh... This beer uses no corn nor rice. It uses water, barley malt, hops, and yeast. Spaten. Yeah, Spaten. It means spade, two shovels. Uh, it's from Munich, Germany. It's from Bavaria. The company was founded in 1397. Wow. During the days of the Holy Roman Empire. It's a double bock, a double bock, and it says right here, malt liquor. Malt liquor. A malt liquor, well, that's what it is. Uh, and so it's best by January of 2020. But with okay. this ABV, it probably would hold up. Would nah. Be. All right. January 2020 is right around the corner. We're in November. Well, well hey. Cheers. Here we go. We got some other dark European style. This is like almost red. Let me see. Yeah. Look at that. Uh, it's like brown. Coke. It's like Coca-Cola color. Yeah, yeah, which is like a reddish brown. This is only $9.99 on a six pack. It's not too expensive. It's a 12 ounce bottle, too. It's not that European 11.2. It's a 12 oh, ounce. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and. Raisins. Yeah, I smell raisin bread. It smells good. All right. Let's taste it. Raisin bread, 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 bread. Forget hops. Mm. It is bread. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's not even, it's not even like trying to hide that it's bread. It's just bread. It tastes like bread. It's very boozy. They're just like being outlandish with this. Yeah. Well, this goes back to the times when the monks would, uh, you fast. know. Fast. And they, they would eat no fast. solid food. No, nah, and they'd just drink this. Yeah. So I guess, yeah, you know, get your caloric intake from somewhere. Heavy body. Oh, it's very heavy body. It tastes like. I'm drinking raisin bread. It smelled like raisin bread and it tastes like raisin bread. So if you like raisin bread, it's even got a little sweetness to it. Yeah, so, if you like that, uh, what's that stuff with the little girl on there? Uh, the, St. Pauli girl? No, no, the raisin bread. Um, oh, I don't know. You know the raisins and they sell the bread? Yeah, I know the raisins and they sell the bread. It's the most popular raisin brand. I can't think of it. All right, but anyway, um, the finish is kind of sweet. Sweet. It's a different kind of heavy sweetness than the American malt liquors, though. Yeah. Some of those would be like a nasty sweetness. This is like a real good sweetness. To me, it's rich. It's rich. You couldn't get in trouble with this beer. Nope. Because you could never drink too much. It would just be like... No, you can't. It's it'll just fill you up. It's a heavy body. You sit here, you're going, okay. Well, it's gonna wait a minute for it. Take another sip. It's a rich aroma. It's a rich flavor. It's rare, like you hear people say that's I don't want to eat it. It's too rich. That's what this is. It's like you, you you're drinking a piece of dessert bread, like a raisin bread, missing the nuts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, Sunsweet. Isn't that what it is? Sunsweet? Sunbeam? No, I think Sunbeam. it's... Sunbeam. 
No, you're thinking of the bread. All right. Anyway, uh, it's dark. It's thin, but man, is it heavy when you drink it? Got a like nice little head action going. Well, how do you score it? I mean, this is not an everyday drinker, obviously, unless you're fasting and you're working in a monastery. You're a brother. It's an A. It's a solid A. I mean, it's not anything impure about it. So, uh, if they're going with that heavy breadness, you're going to get that on uh, the raisin notes there. It's, uh, it's just a really good put together. It's not overly carbonated. It's not overly sweet. It's not bitter at all. Slightly malty. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it's an A all the way. I'll say a 96 yeah. out of 100. I love this beer. I, it's like, I'll give it like a 93 because the taste is a little heavy for me. 93? Okay. Which is still heavy. a solid A. Still an A, yeah. Yeah. This was sort of like back in the mid 90s the craft beer before we really had a lot of craft beers yeah. and they had this around people would say look what i'm drinking you know well yeah everybody drank german beer is craft beer everybody did you remember those days yeah <laughs> people want to show off and say yeah i'm drinking some uh, becks yep and now people say becks or sierra nevada oh no, you no, or sierra nevada you that was a red hook that was a good one to have some cash yeah. in oh that full sale long one Old Farmer. Oh man, I love that beer right now. I love it right now. Okay, um, the thing that irritates me is that all of these European companies make these kind of things and we don't get them. Yeah, we get Optimator. We don't get Low and Brow at all. And we don't get Low and Brow Triumphinator. You know, I want to try it. I want to try Triumphinator. We get Grosch. Fine. I like Grosch. You like Grosch probably. I want the Grosch Cannon. 11%. But, <laughs> you know. We get Carlsberg. I want the Carlsberg Special Brew. It's really strong. They make like a 10%. Yeah, Elephant. Yeah, Elephant is like this, but it's 7%. But they have 10%. You know, maybe it's nasty. I don't know, but I'd like to try it. Yeah. All right, so Lazy Le Bon Tourmalet, an A beer, uh, but heavy, so get ready. People, get ready. Get ready. We're going to end this it's review. Feeling, feeling the heat now from it right here. And I finished it. And if you drink a 500 milliliter like they sell at Rouse's, you're going to really feel the heat. Right. And you'll be feeling a little wobbly. We're going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to Jefferson Parish, southeastern Louisiana. And drink good beer.